My name is Camille Conley. I am a flight nurse with CareFlight. This helicopter is the helicopter that I work in. My name is Larry Brown. This will be my, uh, I'm starting my 15th year at CareFlight. December uh, will be my 15th anniversary. I wanted to be able to take care of the sickest patients and I wanted to be able to do things that you can't do in a hospital, like land on the side of a road or um, pick patients up that are in a big ICU and find a way to get them into a tiny little helicopter and get them to where they need to be. My dad was a medic in 1977, and so from that point forward, from being a child, I've always wanted to be a paramedic. We do have medical control and we can call them, but most of the time it's you're relying on what you know from your history and your education and your partner. We work off each other. We have protocols that we work from. Anytime we're flying in the air with a patient or not, we need to be on our A game because, I mean, there's not a moment to lose in uh, complacency. 99% of the time, it's a very time sensitive situation. So it is a sense of relief when we get them to the OR or to the cath lab or to wherever they need to be. Not because I want to get rid of them, but because they're here and they're alive and we've done our job. We have to be alert have situational awareness, uh, be cognizant of our, you know, airspace around us, other aircraft or objects, uh, our communications with one another is professional. Uh, in that aircraft, it is definitely all business. There are times for levity, grant you. Uh, there are times that you can make a patient smile because maybe uh, they say something and you can come back with a you know, a funny quip that is appropriate for that situation and it brings a smile to their face. I don't consider myself a hero, no. I just consider myself doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I really give props for police officers. I mean, just putting on that vest and going to work and having to do all the things that they have to do and deal with the um, stigma of their job. Those are my heroes. But it's the anticipation of not really knowing what the day will hold for us. Because you can't predict, you know, with any reasonable certainty that, you know, what we're gonna see or do. I don't feel burnt out in my job. I feel like I'm taking care of people and doing something that's really unique that most people don't get to do. Definitely, if it's a call that stands out to me or something that um, where I'm, I'm not really sure how the outcome is going to be, I try to follow up. It's nice to be able to see when people make a full recovery and we think, oh gosh, I don't think they're going to make it, and then they end up walking out of the hospital a couple weeks later. When we arrive at a scene or in a facility, the way that we approach the human element of what we're facing is to, what I like to do, is think of that individual as a member of my own family. This individual, this patient, their friends and family and extended family, their coworkers, the people who depend on them are depending on me to help them. So to take the, the robotic roteness out of the approach, that for me, that's how I do it. That this is someone's brother, sister, husband, wife, son or daughter.